I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and this is Gil, and I'm here with my co-host. <laughs> See, I still fuck up. Uh, one day, we this has only been 787 of these, and I still can't get through it without a mistake. But I'm still Gilbert Gottfried, and this is <laughs> Gilbert and Frank's amazing, colossal obsessions, uh, of course, with my co-host, Frank Santopadre. <laughs> We're both a little punchy, I yes. think, at this yeah. point. I did a little research from last week. We should uh, update people that you talked last week about a Bob Hope special. Joys. Joys. See, Jaws was like the biggest film in the world at the time. It was this surprise, like, you know, just a gigantic film, Jaws, yeah. when it came 75. out. 75. And and uh, so Bob Hope, <laughs> not at the prime of his career, <laughs> decided, he and his writers decided to make Joys. Uh, that was a takeoff on Jaws. Uh, with any comedian uh, who wasn't working. Anyone who was alive. Yes. Last week we were talking about you were reading the whole cast, which I still have It's here. an insane <laughs> yeah. cast. Yeah, it's an insane cast. I did a lot of research on it. I mean, here's the cast. Uh, I found a couple of things. I found out that a DVD may, in fact, be available. Ooh. So I have to track it down. I know that will make you happy. You were talking about... You or make me want to kill myself. Well, either one. It sounds like one of those... <laughs> One one of those TV specials that you oh, yeah. you were saying you brought up uh, Mike Connors, Mannix, and you were saying, oh, he was he's always funny. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I figured out why Mike Connors is in it because oh. Mike Connors was playing Mannix, Angie Dickinson was playing Pepper from Police Woman. Yeah, and David Jansen is in it because he was playing Harry O. Remember the series? Oh Harry my o? God, yes. And Jim Hutton played Ellery Queen, and and Telly Savalas played Kojak. Part of the conceit of this insane thing was that was that as these murders are taking place at Bob's house, he reaches out to six famous oh, television detectives. Oh. Oh to no! Solve the murder. Now, now that, this reminds me of another TV movie mm -hmm. that had uh, John Biner, uh, Victor Bono. Oh yeah, I know. What uh, you're Jamie about. Farr, uh, Gavin McLeod. Right. And what they were the playing. Thing? They were playing all the current TV detectives. Oh, Bert! Right. I think Bert Young was playing Columbo. Right, and 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 uh, and and Vic, Victor Bono was supposed to be Cannon. Ah, uh, yes, and I guess uh, Jamie Farr and John Biner were Starsky and Hutch. Oh God, I remember this thing. Yeah, what it, was the name of this? I we have to get don't Paul. Paul know, is here. But, so oh let's, my. God, so that, it was really like a TV version of Murder by Death. Yes. Whereas Murder by Death, they were playing great movie uh, sl yeah, sleuths. These were great these were, TV. Uh, well, it was very creepy. We got to find the name of that. While, uh, while Paul was looking that up, Victor Buono John, and John, John Biner. Biner e -Y -N -E -R. Jamie Farr. But you got the, and this. I'm put gonna, down, uh, detective. Yeah, yeah, did you did you tell me as we were talking about Joy's last week that Vincent Price introduced the, the whole thing? That Vincent Price did the wraparound, and it, it is about a human shark committing murders against comedians. In oh, Bob, in Bob Hope's house. Oh, <laughs> which makes no sense. Oh, geez. Yeah. See now, now it it really is like one of those those train wrecks. Yeah. Because I. I, I I know it will haunt me for the rest of my life, but I have to see the dead bodies. He found it. And, oh, what was... Okay, okay, okay I, go ahead, hang on. He's putting on his oh, glasses. Murder can hurt you. Wow. That's, I think that's it. What was the cast? Okay, let, let, let's, let's see if I could... Uh, murder can hurt you cast, okay. Uh, oh, Don Adams, voice only, Marty Allen. Wow. Victor Bono, John Biner, Tony Danza, Jamie Farr, uh, <laughs> Gavin McLeod, wow. Buck Owens. Uh, oh, Buck Owens must have been McLeod. Liz Torres, Jimmy Walker, Burt Young. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell... 
Crendell. What's the year on that? Oh, uh, oh, God. I, it must have been 70. 1980. 1980. So it, oh, to so, 1980. So it's like a murder by death knockoff. Somebody said, some development executive or somebody yeah. said, oh, it worked for murder by death with, with movie uh, detectives. Oh, and remember on a previous, a uh, very recent previous uh, Colossal podcast, I mean, Colossal Obsession. Obsessions, I I said, because we were talking about glasses, mm-hmm. eyeglasses, mm-hmm. and I said something about cheaters, and and I said, I found out, I just taped it, I've taped, yeah, I record, <laughs> I taped it, I still have, I have an old a Betamax. tape, re- I have an old tape recorder where you got to put the tape in the spool, <laughs> and it goes, when you're rewinding. <laughs> No, I I accidentally recorded yeah. an episode of Thriller with Boris oh, sure, Karloff. Sure, I have a bunch of them on DVD. And and it they had the Cheaters wow. episode because it it was like he gets a pair of glasses that he can read people's minds with. I barely remember yeah. that. Yeah, and that Ed, cool stuff. Ed Nelson was in oh, it. Oh, yeah. Mildred Dunnock. I oh, like and, and Jack Weston. Jack Weston. Yeah. Listen to this. This is the description. And for- as sure as my name is Boris Karloff, <laughs> it's a thriller. <laughs> here, here is a brief description of Joy's, and I, oh, no. I urge you to go to the Paley Center for Media website, and oh. you can read this for yourself. A, a television comedy special featuring Bob Hope and a number of comedians in a murder mystery parody. Oh. Vincent Price introduces a mystery story about a human shark that commits murders against comedians. Oh. <laughs> Bob Jerry Colonna is the first to go. Oh my God. <laughs> Bob speaks with some of his guests, such as Don Rickles, Don Knotts, and Dean Martin, to try to figure out what's going on, but they offer no help. Phyllis Diller comes to investigate and discovers only a mustache and a black glove where Jerry Colonna used to be. Oh. David Jansen deduces as much information about the killer after examining the glove, but is also killed. And then it goes on to add a Vagoda, Glenn Campbell, George Burns and George Goebel and Jimmy Walker are killed. I mean, wow. For some reason, Wayne Newton shows up and sings Rhinestone Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is made all the more bizarre by the fact that Glenn Campbell's in the show. And and I'll bet you... <laughs> he doesn't sing his own song. This has got to be one of those uh, movies, TV movies, where, like, you could tell everyone is shot separately. Yes. Oh, oh like the roasts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we read you read the cast last week. We got This has the writers' names, so we're actually going to try to. I think we're going to actually try to find one of these writers oh, and get the real story on this. Bob Hope, Don Adams, Jack Albertson, Marty Allen, Desi Arnaz, Billy Barty. It's insane. Pat Buttram, who you said was Pat Buchanan. <laughs> Sammy Kahn, Glenn Campbell, does not sing Rhinestone Cowboy. Charo, Artie Johnson, Alan King, Fred McMurray. It, Groucho turns up, Vincent Price. Yeah, I... Harry I, Ritz. In, 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 uh, I heard, like, well, like Steve Stolier, who, lived, who worked right, with right. Groucho. Our former guest. He, he said in, in his book that uh, he, I think he either went there and watched them film it or just saw it on, I think he watched them film it and said to the producer, like, oh, well, I, I Groucho wasn't bad. And the producer said, what, have you never seen Groucho Marx before in your entire life that you thought that was good? Well, the release date on this, and we touched on this last week, is March 5th, 1976. It ran on a Friday at 8.30. Groucho would be dead by August of the following year. Oh! So what has he got? Uh, a little year and a half left? Oh! When he, when he did this? Incredible. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, by the yeah. way, but Johnny Carson turns out to be the killer. Oh, gee. <laughs> See, now, now, now you ruin the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> Written by Hal, Hal Cantor is gone. He would have been great for this show. Ben Starr, Gig Henry, Charles Lee, Leona Toppel. These are these are Bob Hope writers. We have to oh my see God, if we yes. can't find any of these people to, to please come forward and as a public service explain this to us. Oh, God. 
And speaking of yes. all-star Uh-oh. debacles. Yes. Because we got a lot of emails and a lot of uh, interest in the roast yes. conversation. And I thought, what could we talk about this week that was that involved a lots and lots of stars and was just as terrible as the roast, yeah. in addition to Joy's? Yes. And I think I found it. Battle of the Network Stars. Oh, my God, yes. Do you remember when we talked about this with Greg Evigan? Yes. We had him on the show because he competed. Uh, these things are wild. It, it was like... It was kind of like reality TV in its infancy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Basically done by ABC. They ran forever. They ran from 1976 to 1985. And I remember... People watch these things. Didn't they also have, like, Celebrity Circus? Yeah, Circus of the Stars. Circus of the Stars. That That was it. That may have been CBS's answer to ABC's successful Battle of the Stars, which at one point became Challenge of the Network Stars. It's really impossible. They got $20,000. We've talked to Greg Evigan about this. Yeah. We didn't talk to Ed Asner, who was also involved in it. But apparently the the winning team, each person got 20 grand. Oh, my God. Which is a lot of money for the 70s. Oh, wow. It's a lot of money now. And Howard Cosell took these, you know, was the, was the, the, the announcer, the play-by-play guy, taking it completely seriously. You've got to see these things. They're on YouTube. You know what I'm talking about, Paul? Yeah. They're absolutely dreadful. And listen to these people. <laughs> Gabe, the first one was done in 1976. Uh, the ABC team was Gabe Kaplan, Linda Carter, Farrah Fawcett, Robert Hedges. Oh, my God, who, uh, yes. He passed away, Epstein, recently. Ron Howard, Hal Linden, Penny Marshall, and John Shuck. Oh. Herman Munster himself. And, and wasn't he also in, in a show where he was a robot? Yeah, Holmes and Yo-Yo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and who was You're the going off character the reservation. who was the other guy? Richard B. Shull. Oh, okay. Right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm really, I'm sorry I know that. The CBS team, the captain was Telly Savalas, Adrian oh, Barbeau, no. Gary Berghoff, Pat Harrington, who we just lost, Bill Macy, who's still around, oh. podcast guest Lee Merriweather. Wait, wait, wait. See, this is one of those alive or dead. Oh, he's alive, Bill Macy. Bill Macy, Bill Macy is, is alive. still alive? Yeah, I don't know what kind of shape he's in, but he's with us. Loretta Swit was on the team, and once again, the only link between... Uh, Battle of the Network stars Joys and what was that thing called? Murder Can Hurt You? Jimmy Walker. Oh my <laughs> God. The NBC team was captained by Robert Conrad, Melissa Sue Anderson, Ben Murphy from Alias Smith and Jones. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Kevin Ty. That, that was like a total ripoff of uh, Butch, Cassidy Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Bobby Troop and Kevin Tighe from Emergency. Uh, Barbara Parkins. Do you remember her? Tim Matheson Parkins. and Damon Wilson. Yeah. And it goes on like that. And if you go to the Wikipedia page, you cannot believe how many of these things they did. I mean, O.J. turns up in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Jenner turns up in one of them. And there's a, there's a, there's a very funny article um, in Vulture, a uh, 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 New York magazine uh, written by the, the funny comedian Dave Holmes, where he just goes into detail about it, and they show clips. And there's a clip of Telly Savalas arguing with Robert Conrad. And it really looks like they're going to go to blows oh. because of, because of uh, uh, the CBS team. Uh, Telly Savalas is captaining the CBS team, and he's accusing the NBC team of cheating. And he's, oh, geez. And he's smoking a cigarette. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Now, like, now, Barbara Parkins, is yeah. she from Peyton Place? She might have, or Valley of the Dolls or something. Might have been one of those. Yeah, I think she was on Peyton Place, too. But I uh, urge yeah. our listeners to go look at this clip. Oh, Because you can see Gabe Kaplan and Bruce Jenner and Robert Conrad. Oh. And, and Telly Savalas and Telly smoking a, a, a butt. And, and you're waiting to wake up from this horrible dream. <laughs> like, you're how happy. How could this be happening? <laughs> And Telly's saying, I'm Greek. My people invented the games. Oh, God. It's, it's absolutely surreal. And Conrad, who I believe was, was a bit of a, of a combative fellow, looks like he's going to punch somebody out. I mean, Tony Randall. There's, there's one in the late 70s, early 80s of Billy Crystal competing with David Letterman, doing like running through tires. And I'm trying to remember what they call that. What do they when, when you when they're when, oh oh when, yeah when, yeah huh? It's an obstacle course, an obstacle course. It, it, it's incredible. 
Linda Carter going into a swimming pool with Adrian Barbeau. You would like that oh, one. Oh, yes. <laughs> John Davidson captaining one team. Uh, William Shatner, William Devane, Pernell Roberts. I mean, it's just surreal. Uh, you got to go and look at these things. Uh, parodied very well on Saturday Night Live is the network battle of the T's and A's. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Barbara Perkins was in Valley. There yes. you go. Was she in Peyton Place also? I'm looking. I don't see it. She was in a TV show. But anyway, you you oh, oh. you, you got to go. You got to go and look at these things. And look at there's a funny article in Mental Floss too, which is a a very funny magazine and um uh, uh talking all about Battle of the Network Stars. But I didn't know they were they got 20 grand. I was I was oh thought they did this God, because the, the yeah. networks bullied them into doing I it. I thought it would be like one of these scaled things like, you know, you got to plug a show. I always thought so. Peyton Place. Peyton, Peyton, Peyton Place. All right, Gilbert I Godfrey. Was right. All right. Oh, and in Vulture, I'm in in one of their articles now. Oh, was that the, the top, uh, the funniest jokes of all time? The funniest jokes of all time. They do my uh, September 11th. Right, so we should thing. give you a plug for that. Anyway, that's battle. Uh, a <laughs> brief history of Battle of the Network stars. Wow. We're barely scratching the surface. Um, it's, it's uh, you could lose, uh, I think ESPN Classics and then uh, was, was didn't it. who who hosted celebrity bowling oh i'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> just before we sign off a chance to give a shout out to our pal gino salamone oh yes who who claimed who keeps calling me and saying i'm sending you these dvds yes. of celebrity bowling i've never seen them <laughs> i think jed allen was the jed host allen. does that mean anything yes. to you and and he was one of those guys i remember i oh i remember talking about it on some like VH1 special or something. But he was one of those guys who seemed like he was bombed out of his skull on everyone. <laughs> he might have been. He had to have been. I don't think I can blame him. Yeah. Did you watch any of those celebrity bowling episodes? Oh, yeah. Billy Barty's on one. Yeah. <laughs> to watch him run up and throw they, the bowling they ball. They used him as a ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I can't remember the channel it was on, but it was they were running a marathon. A, a oh, while yeah. back, and you see Michael and Sarah and and Gavin oh. McLeod and John Shuck and 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 they're just and all the and, and Clint Walker and what's his name Claude Aikens. Oh <laughs> my God! And they're all bowling. <laughs> it's, it's beyond bad. And and it did. 144 episodes of Celebrity Bowling. See, there you back, go. Back then, though. <laughs> wow. Back then, all of those TV shows, including Hollywood Squares, the original mm-hmm. ones, and all those. Most of those people drank, and they always supplied alcohol backstage. Oh, they would well, wheel. That explains a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, our friend Dick Van Dyke, who's uh, who, yeah, who we, we've probably put up by the time this is uh, this is posting. He and Joan Van Ark co-hosted in 1985. Uh, Battle of the Network oh, Stars. Oh, jeez. So there you go. Yeah. One thing we forgot to ask him about. <laughs> So, so that this has been a very disturbing episode. <laughs> I think the show has this, this, this many these many episodes yeah. have taken a dark turn. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it, become strange, unhealthy obsessions. It, it, it's all a a bad fever dream. Well, you started it with the Bob Hope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with Jack Frost. <laughs> uh, I watched that again. I could watch. I have it on a loop. Oh, God. I'm Jack Frost. <laughs> his, his voice was high pitched, and, uh, and you you could see they probably uh, like somebody hit him in the ribs and said, "Just say I'm Jack Frost." <laughs> I'm Jack Frost. That, that cattle shocking thing. Yes, What's his yes. name? <laughs> Carries around in uh, No Country for Old Men. Oh yes, <laughs> and in Casino. <laughs> 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 oh. All right. So anyway, Joys, Battle of the Network Stars. Celebrity Bowling. Cele- what was the other one? <laughs> Murder Can Hurt You. Oh, Good Murder Lord. Can Hurt You, okay. my favorite. Okay, listeners, you got your work cut out for you this week. So this has been, I'm Gilbert Gottfried with my co-host Frank Santo Padre, and this has been uh, Gilbert and Frank's amazing Colossal, if not suicidal, <laughs> obsession. Follow us on Patreon and GilbertGodfrey.com and our new uh, podcast website, GilbertPodcast.com. See you next week. Here we go.